Hi everyone, welcome to this new video by Detox Technologies. My name is Hirsch and I work as a full-time cybersecurity consultant with Detox Technologies. In this video, we are going to talk about how to level up Recon with Spice. Spice is a reconnaissance tool. It's a basically web application plus API based tool which allows you to enumerate assets of a particular target, a particular organization, company based upon various factors. Reconnaissance is really essential and important process in pen testing because it allows you to perform asset discovery. The more assets we discover about our target organization, the better pen test we can perform. And the better pen test we perform, obviously we will be able to secure and find better vulnerabilities into their system. Now, let's quickly look at what SPICE is, how we can utilize SPICE and add it to our daily reconnaissance process. So this is the website of SPICE, SPICE.com. You can simply go and navigate, create an account, which is free, but uh, there are certain features which are pro and there's a limitation of use in the free account, like other tools like Shodan and Census. There's also a limitation in SPICE. So according to SPICE, it's a cybersecurity search engine, which allows you to find and enumerate technical information about any assets of an organization, which are mapped somewhere over the internet. Uh, as of now, the SPICE has around uh, 2.4 billion of domain recorded, 965 various technologies, 1.5 million organizations data. The data is like, again, the assets like subdomain, IP spaces and everything. 70.2K autonomous systems, 138.1K vulnerabilities, which are basically the CVEs and some of the known vulnerabilities. Now, there are a lot of things and you can simply go and click on this, uh, see all data and like, you know, you can see, okay, what kind of data they process. So there is like one PV data process each month, 25 billion documents, 70 plus servers, which scans and store the data and 25 TB of information is available. So actually they're doing a really great job and you can see all their metrics that how they index the IP V4 host, how the domains are being indexed the SSL TLS certificate index, the organization index, and there are a lot of things which you can go and check that how they are working on the backend. Now let's see what all the tools SPICE offer. So SPICE has an option called advanced search. We will look at it in a minute that how it works. Basically advanced search allows you to add some filters upon your current search. So for example, you are searching for a domain name and you want to see that, okay, the domain name should point to a specific name server, say uh, ns1.target.com. So you can specify and say domain name is target.com and the name server should be ns1.target.com. It will now search for only those assets which have both of these things in common. Now the SPICE API is one of my favorite part. SPICE API allowed to perform and get data from the command line. Basically, I use it for my daily reconnaissance process. I use the various API calls from the command line. I take the output, I like, you know, format and clean it according to my need. And once I have the cleaned uh, output from the SPICE API, I further integrate it to the tools. So uh, for example, I want to perform subdomain enumeration using SPICE. I will take a list of all the subdomains using the SPICE API key. I will clean them into a particular format. I will further send them to a tool called HTTPX or other, you know, HTTP probe, other tools where it will go for resolution. And then for that, I will send it to the FU, uh, FFUF for the directory enumeration and the nuclei for the template based scanning. So this is how that I utilize SPICE to the full power. The bulk search option again allows you to, you know, search for multiple, uh, target domain and IP simultaneously. And it is a very good feature again, but it's currently available for the pro version only. Apart from that, it allows you to perform domain lookup, DNS lookup, ASN lookup, the basic feature like subdomain, IP lookup, port scanning, which is again a good feature. The port scanning, it allows you to, you know, already enumerate open ports. Sometimes our scanners uh, might miss or we might not notice a particular ports open, but this is again a good uh, way to look. Again, the, one of the important and, you know, good feature I like is reverse AdSense lookup. Basically AdSense is a service which, uh, you know, shows ad on the website. Now say uh, there are 10 websites target one to target 10.com and they are using the same AdSense ID. It simply implies that target one to target 10.com, they all are owned by the same owner. And it means that if uh, the targets is everything is in a scope or, you know, in our pen test, we are saying that enumerate every scope that we have. So this allows us to, you know, uh, perform a better reconnaissance and again, you know, find better assets.
the company lookup allows to you know find the assets by the company's name so for example i want to look up for the assets related to amazon or say dell or some other companies i can go and check that so these are few features which other tools are, are according to my knowledge are not offering yet and i really like those two features okay now let's quickly look at the uh, various uh, options spice has Okay, so when you go about search, there are options like search by domain, IP, autonomous system, CIDR range, certificates, CVEs, technologies, and everything. Now let's uh, search by a normal. This particular is the open program on bug crowd for bug bounty. So we are just taking example of it. Okay, so once you see, you will see the various options like. Is there any CVE currently reported for the, any of the subdomains of uh, stackpart.com? What is the current security score? They are currently like just waiting for the, this might take a time to reflect over here. Then further you can uh, check the related IPv4 host. You can check the related domains. The one of the good feature I like is the email address disclosed and sometimes you know it, it might uh, lead you to find the PII. You can take this particular email say james.levitron at stackpart.com and you can go on github and other services to search if there is any credential leakage. So I like this feature a lot. Then further there is something called same domains in other TLD zones. So TLD are, are basically like .com, .n, .org, .net. So these are the top level domains. So there are sometimes chances that when the uh, in our pen testing scope, we see that, okay, everything is in a scope and we have to enumerate everything possible. So this particular TLD enumeration allows us to find new assets. And sometimes the stackpart.app and stackpart.dev will be two different websites itself and might be having some of the vulnerable components. So again, a better chance to find vulnerabilities that increase our attack surface. Now, the, you can see the various technology stacks over the main website, any uh, TLS certificate misconfiguration over this particular window. Then you can uh, check the related domains again. This is again a good feature, the related organizations. It allows us to enumerate the subsidiaries and the acquisitions. It is currently powered by Crunchbase, but uh, uh, usually we have to go and manually check on Owler, Crunchbase or Wikipedia and Google search. But again, this allows us to perform things in a very better way. Now, since everything is on the same window, everything is, you know, well sorted. Uh, I like this particular thing about the spice that they have organized the things in a very well uh, UI manner. So from both UI and the command line perspective, you can easily do your job. Now, let's quickly see the advanced search option. So you have to go and click on add filter. So for example, I want to check a domain name called stackpath.com. Uh, you can also like, you know, starts with or equals to or ends with you can basically add it's it's like the uh, uh, website uh, i am not able to netcraft uh, yeah so netcraft also i guess gives you the same option like equals to start with and ends with then click on continue now further if you want to add any filter say uh, i want uh, a who is record the registrant or the registrar name should be something stack path and if I will click on continue now, uh, again, it will allow me to add, uh, you know, hierarchical uh, filters. I can do that and click on search. So currently there is no results. So there might be that this uh, resistant name might not contain stack path. So let's just quickly remove it and let's just say search. And now you can see that uh, we have the search result. Everything which start from or which, you know, have the information stackpath.com will be here. The subdomain won't be listed over here. You just have to simply click on this and say view details and you will see the, all the subdomain information over here. A new list will pop up like that. Way. Okay. Now, uh, similarly, there are multiple options like search by IP address. So for example, I want to search say 10.10.0.25.65, some random IP. I don't know where it points. So if there is any data available for this particular IP, it will list over here, the CVEs, the MX record, NS record, everything over here, open ports. Okay, now let's just quickly see the one of the newest feature of the SPICE, which is called CVE. Okay, now let's say, uh, let's first quickly go over here and say click on advanced search, go to the CV tab. Now you will see there are a lot of CVEs along with all the information is listed over here. And let's just quickly take any CV, uh, which might be high priority. Let's, let's just quickly take uh, this one. It looks new. Just click on this and say search. 
So it will, you know, first of all, give you every information about the base score, the CBS version three and both version two. Again, a very good UI representation and a good work by Spice team. The references, various advisories, and if there is any exploit available, would be listed over here. Further, you will see the vulnerable IPs of this particular CV. This is a really good feature. I will just click on the view details. Now, what I will do is, uh, since I know that okay, my target organization has an IP of say 10.50.60.70, what I will do is basically I will remove all those extra columns now i have only the ips and all i need to do is just click on copy and say go to this and i have the first 20 ips copied okay similarly you can increase the range up to 100 and with api you can you know get more ips in a single go just simply click on copy and now you have like 100 ips and now you can simply go and search like okay is like you know uh, 2 dot uh, 47 dot say um, any IP say 227 is there or not okay so we will get it so for example that there, there is some IP say this particular one let's say I will what I will do if it's a very large file I will search it okay yeah this particular IP exists so I can now uh, have information that okay that this particular IP is vulnerable by this particular CV 2020 or uh, um, 11984 also i can uh, you know add as many columns as i want the whatever column i need for this particular thing so for example usually i look for the open ports and the ipv4 host and click on this download button over here and it will you know allow you to download in the csv and nd json format again uh, the json format would be easy to parse and uh, for like if you are using windows and everything or also you can parse csv uh, into the various processing tools but i prefer over json now, similarly, you can go and click on the vulnerable domains over here section. Uh, say, let's let's go back over here once and uh, go to advanced search CVEs. Then let's uh, check this particular first CV. Click on view details. You will see vulnerable domains over here. Click on this section. Again, go to the columns. Remove all the unnecessary field that you might not need. Once done, just go and change the rows to 100. Click on copy and see. Now I have like a lot of 100 domains and if I want to say search for some specific domain, which, which might be, you know, uh, I, my target's uh, scope and say, uh, say eonet.ne.jp. So there are, you know, domains starting with eonet.ne.jp. So I currently took this particular example because it was already there in the list so that you can understand the idea that how I look for the, uh, you know, domains in particular, this vulnerable domain list. Usually I use the API calls instead of using web UI because I am much comfortable using API and parsing them and again searching along with them. You can click on this download button, click on this Andy JSON, click on proceed. Uh, if you will go to downloads page, it will like, you know, list something like this and you can further download data using this icon now also they have a very neat uh, documentation where you can see each and every advanced users by spice from how to use apis to how to perform table customization how to you know uh, search specific data what are the limitation what are the security scores and everything now this is a quick overview about the spice spice team is really doing a great job by you know daily adding new features because i have been using this for over 40 days now and i have seen many new features being implemented like almost every two weeks i guess and it, it is highly recommended to everyone who can afford it and you know you should actually try it once because if you are getting benefit out of it it's a really good choice and a good tool to perform the reconnaissance also, Spice team is doing regular giveaways on their Twitter pages via various security researchers and via their own Twitter handle. So make sure that you go and follow them. So this was a quick introduction to Spice as a tool for reconnaissance. Make sure that you subscribe to the Detox Technology YouTube channel because we will be posting videos regularly on various technologies, various pen testing methodologies from web application to reconnaissance to mobile application, iOS application, 
the red teaming methodologies and cloud configuration reviews and you can also request videos what technologies or what particular you know topics you want to see the videos to be uh, added by the detox technology team and we will work upon it to fulfill the, those demands of creating some videos as per the audience need so make sure that you subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you can stay alerted for the notification and if you like the video let us know in the comments and share with your friends thank you so much